Wait, 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 at, at the top. Hey. You have your video off. If you can't be seen. Look at that. Look at all these nice people. Shalom. Close the door. Shalom. <laughs> Okay. So the meet, yeah, we could. The meeting is being recorded. Brilliant. Flo, yes. uh, 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 only speaks French. Do you guys have like a Google Translate? Um, um, can I ask everyone to turn their audio off or mute themselves? Um, and then if you want to speak, just turn it on. If not, we'll have just interference okay. during the talk. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All Brilliant. these nice people. Are you guys ready to dive in? Should we start? Was that a yes? Everyone yes. Saying... Okay. Uh, I'm just, uh, let's just wait another second. And uh, Andy, you're looking very pensive. I'm awaiting your wisdom. Okay. Uh, just, I need one more person to join. And, uh, if, uh, so are you guys excited? Just say yes, I'm excited. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. You better be. <laughs> so, oh, this cup is from Shamuni, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. All the way from Shamuni. Wow. Yeah, fair. Well, so, uh, okay, so I, I, I'm just going to jump in over here. We're going to get started. And uh, Dora, already, she's already hiking. You see, she's hiking through the whole apartment over here. Okay, let's start with the very beginning. Uh, and then I'm going to turn things over to Flo. And then, you know, um, the most important thing. First of all, you should know, we've been running this trip since, um, oh, my God, 2015. And uh, Flo has been, in, been involved, I don't know, five, six years? Six years now. This is my seven. Yes. And here is Sister Debbie. Shalom. Okay, so I'm going to start, and then Irene's going to say a few words, and then Flo's going to share some important information, and it's all good. The most important thing I want to say is that communication. So uh, it's really important that you have a uh, internet package. Um, Elliot, do you mind just muting yourself, please? Sorry. Yes, no Thank you. Sorry. If not, if not, we got interference coming through. No, it's okay. Well, you should know that. My wife walks around with a mute button all day long. She's Josh, mute. Anyway, Why yes, okay. Um, okay, so it's very important that you land, that you have, you already have WhatsApp. Because once you have WhatsApp, you can make phone calls to us, you can make phone calls to your loved ones. You know, if there's an issue, you can send us a location. That's really, really important. Now, because of the whole, ah, oh, look at this, Chaim's here also. Chaim is going to teach us how to curse like they do in Texas. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing skill. It's a beautiful thing. Anyway, I love Chaim. Anyway, so if for some reason, if for some reason your WhatsApp doesn't work, what we're going to do to everyone, we have a special communication device that we use in Shamoni. I'll show it to you. Okay. Here it is. What we're going to do is. We're going to give everyone a bell. <laughs> everyone gets to get a bell. And if you can't find us, just ring the bell. Then it works. You'll actually see the, I got this off a cow. I actually took it off a cow in the Alps, believe it or not. It was only arrested for a short time. The cows didn't like it. Okay. Be that as it may. Ladies and gentlemen, we have run this trip so many times. It runs like clockwork. And, uh, uh, Flo has spent really many, many, many hours. And every single year, the logistics are absolutely flawless. It's going to be the same this year. In a moment, she's going to, um, after Irit says a few words, um, she's going to you know, run us through a few things. And then if you have any questions, we only have 40 minutes. Uh, just you should know that when you get to um, Chamonix itself, uh, everyone's going to be getting to one chalet, and then we'll divide you up into 
the different chalets that you're in. I'll send out in the exact information we're going to be. You'll be meeting uh, Irit. Irit's going to be there. Yeah. Yes. Irit is absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. And if you're very nice to her, she'll teach you how to dance. She's like an expert, you know, Kora, Ahi, the She's like an expert dancer. And uh, you'll be meeting uh, <clears throat> Irit, and you'll be meeting Yo, Yonatan, my son. He's in charge of the kitchen. And you have three guides. The guides are just amazing. One of them is Flo's father, who's like an expert, 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 expert guide, like the serious stuff you see on TVs shows and um he's been actually talking to us he's also a children's author he's going to be presenting his books unbelievable lucia the sweetest in the world and you have to ask her to play guitar because she's just amazing and uh, also pep so uh you're really really well staffed so i'm going to turn it over to you going to say a few words and then to flow look a shot you yeah very good you read, we, we, I don't know how to read lips, sweetest in the world. You're, You're, right. Right. You're right. Okay, go for it. Right. <laughs> I have a baby here crying. It's not my baby, it's my grandson. So, um, hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, it's really nice to see you now, like, face-to-face, -face, as much as we can. Uh, we, we, were, we spoke yesterday, I spoke with most of you um about the transfer okay so i'll present myself um i'm an overseas tour guide for 10 years already um and i'm um going around the world with israeli people usually um i've done i've been with josh and danny before the covid um in Chamonix, so we've done this, uh, that, uh, this twice and one time in Slovenia, which were which was amazing. So I'm going to be with you people for this amazing week um, to like to answer all of your um, things, like everything that you need, like operational and social and all besides the tour guiding itself um, that has been done by already by um, professional guides like Josh uh, mentioned before. So I hope we'll have a great time together. We'll do many interesting things. Um, and looking forward Perfect. Thank you, Yuri. So Flo's going to jump in in just a moment. I just, one thing that you may not have uh, focused on, but we are very focused on that, is that uh, July 14th is? The Bastille, Bastille Day. Ha! Andy. Nice. I don't know this. Andy, he's my brother. So we don't have the same father, but <laughs> it's a long story. Be that the way. So, and so, and where are we going to be? Friends. Friends on Bastille Day, Ooh, wah, wah. Mm -hmm. so uh, there's going to be there's going to be uh, celebrations which we're going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So okay, uh, <laughs> now before uh, <clears throat> uh, before Florence uh, Flo says a few words, I just want you to know that uh, Flo is like an avid uh, I don't even know what the word cyclist runner. How long was the Tour de okay. Montblanc? You ran for 36 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours. She runs a lot. Anyway, so um, the last thing I wanted to say is that thank you, Flo, so much for everything you've done. And go ahead. Hi. Well, so, uh, yeah, Which as is, just mentioned, yeah, I've been awesome. working for um, KWA for about since 2016 now. Um, I've lived, was born and raised in Chamonix. Um, and it's just by like pure connections that I started working with Josh. Um, so my area of expertise is Chamonix. It's like, I know it like the back of my hand. I've lived there and still like go back to my family quite a bit. Um, so you are all going to be arriving um, on July 9th at Geneva Airport. 
Some of you are on the same flight, some of you are not. All your transfers have been booked. So I just sent a WhatsApp where you can see where to get your transfer bus. We've used a company called Alpibus. If your flight is late, delayed or anything, we have your flight information and we can put you on a later transfer. So do not worry about that. Um, once you arrive in Chamonix, you're gonna be just dropped at the main chalet. So we've got free chalets. And then from there, you know, you'll meet all the group, everybody will say hi, <laughs> dinner will be served and off to the next day. Um, one thing I want to make clear is that if you choose, if you want to walk one day, hike one day, just stroll one day, it is not set in stone. You can change during the week because this was a big thing that people were asking me is that you don't have to be a vivid hiker every day. If you want a rest day, go for it. <laughs> no problem. If you want to challenge yourself another day, completely fine as well. That's a big thing. Um, you're here to enjoy yourself. It's your holiday. Like it's completely normal. Um, if you've got any kind of issues during the trip, um, Iri is there to help you. If you've got like very like specific Chamonix mountain based questions, the guy that's there or as well, just drop me a WhatsApp. Um, yeah, I'm always here to help. Um, the guides, as Josh mentioned, Mark, my father, he's been a mountain guide for the past, I'd say I'm gonna say 40 years now, uh, maybe 30, 30, 40 years. He knows Samini really well. He's done like probably climb Mont Blanc about 150 times. Um, he can give you a lot of knowledge about the place. Lucia is amazing as well. And we've got a new guide who's Lucia's friend who I think is amazing as well. I've spoken to him quite a bit. Um, if you've got any specific questions, please just ask them away. If you want to drop them on WhatsApp, I'll try and answer. I'm normally quite good at my WhatsApp, but I am on a full-time job. So, um, if you know, give me four hours and you'll get an answer from me. Um, we sent you, let me just check. Um, if you... If you can't manage to get your phone working, there is Wi-Fi airport. In yeah, case there is like a big like situation, do connect yourself to the Geneva Wi-Fi airport, which is completely free for 90 minutes. And we can try and get you out of a sticky situation if you can't contact us. Um, yeah, any questions? And please shoot, I've got, I can hopefully answer all of them. No, nope, no questions at all. Uh, I'm quite no, surprised I, here. I, I, have a, I have a question. <laughs> Go uh, for it. Okay. Uh, the, on the day that, um, is it the cable car, the gondola uh, up the mountain? Do both the hikers and the walkers, or, are we all doing that at the same time? So I, if you're talking about l'aiguille du midi, yes. Because um, oh, right. this is, you'll go... You'll go to the top all together. The whole group goes. We've got a reservation um, at 9.30 and the entire group goes. And then we come back. So there's two stations because you go up to 3,600 meters to look and you get an iconic view of Mont Blanc. And then you come down to the mid station. And then from there, you'll split off into groups. Okay. Thank you. Right. I'll just mention one other thing about that day is that uh, while, uh, while we're in the valley, which is where we're spending most of our time, so it's going to be, you know, in the 80s. In the morning, it'll be chilly, but in the, during the day, it'll be... And then suddenly, um, you might be on the mountain, there was cloud cover, and it might be a little chilly. So people usually carry with them, um, you know, layers. Now, the day that we go up to uh, Agui de Midi, and we go up to 3,800 uh, meters, so it's going to get progressively cooler as we go up. So some people have actually... Uh, could wear parka, or you could be wear multiple layers. Some people actually bring a like a snow cap with them because um, uh, if it's a clear day, then it might be you know in the forties on top of the mountain and be, but it, it it could also be quite cold uh, on top of the mountain. And also when you get to the top of the mountain, most people most of the time just like uh, Flo said, there are iconic views there. It's really an unbelievable thing. Some people might get a little a lightheaded and that's the case you can sit down it's fine there's actually a coffee shop um on top of the mountain you can sit there and have mm. a coffee and um if i already mentioned coffee um usually they either have a uh, haagen or magnum ice cream which is kosher on this street itself there's like a uh, a strip a pedestrian strip mall 
that you can walk down to Chamonix. They sell ice cream. You can you can the both the vanilla ice cream from the uh, vendor and the chocolate is kosher if you want to get that. Any other questions? Sorry, I've just got one little comment. Sorry, I'll answer your question. Um, we send you an itinerary. Of course, you know, depending on the um, weather, it will change. So do bear in mind that, you know, we will be covering the whole itinerary, but sometimes the day will have been deferred. But do not worry about that. The guides are going to come and, like, will tell you everything every day prior, what you need. But it's pretty much the same thing every day, of, like the kit you need to bring with you. Sorry, somebody had a question. Yeah, so each day we're starting at the chalet and then we're been going. How do we get to the destination that we're visiting? Or oh, we're, we're, we're walking from. So we'll, we'll be, there's two different ways that we'll be going. There's, um, so it depends which, where we're going. So a lot of the time, like Ligui du Midi is a 10 minute 15 minute walk from the chalet um if we're going up to like le tour we'll get the iconic train which is not like a not a city train it's a beautiful beautiful train that you can like get all the views and you'll be transferring we'll give you cards so that you get free public transport everywhere we need to go oh that is us okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so basically though when you leave the chalet each morning you pack your Oh, your, okay. your, your clothing and your lunch and you're carrying mm -hmm. it the whole day yeah exactly okay. so you just um there's a lot of water points as well so don't like you do need water but there is a lot of fresh um like we we drink out of um we've got like um kind of barrel taps around the town and at the bottom wow. of the villages for you to fill up your water where you need to fill it up and everything but yeah you would need to leave with everything you leave the chalet around 8 39 ish every morning and then come back near four o'clock mm -hmm. i just want to mention one thing about the water the water yeah, they have like these troughs on the on the uh, on the walkways that are, are on, uh, on the streets you can actually drink from these troughs there, there's water there's a mm -hmm. little like figure that comes out of the wall uh, there's a fountain in town. Uh, you can drink the water. Uh, between the water and the air, it's just an amazing feeling to be there uh, for that week. Uh, what what about bathrooms? Sorry? Bathrooms? But, um, every so station no that you're going to go to. Chamonix. No bathrooms. We'll be giving out diapers. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, We're giving out every... diapers. <laughs> no, don't um, worry. It's the name of the diapers. <laughs> Every station that you'll be going to, there'll be bathrooms. Um, when you're going on the hikes, there will be less access to toilets and facilities. So. No, you can't. Oh, um, can someone mute themselves? Sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. No worries. No worries. <laughs> um, yeah. Any other questions? Uh, question. I'm sorry. Um, in reference to the amount of water that we need to take. Mm -hmm. um, now you're saying that there's water on the way. So do we really need to take with us uh, one and a half to three liters of water or just I'm have a liter bottle filled and then we can refill as we go? Um, I would say you would, you do need about a liter and a half. Just, you know, it's better to be on the safe side if you get fed, if it's a hot day even more, you know, um, there's water in, so you, you'll be able to, there's some cafes as well. If really needed, you need to buy some, but that's a bit of a shame uh -huh. to, you know, I would just say take at least a liter and a half. And if you know that it's going to be a really nice day, hot day, bring more. It's for you to kind of decide on how much if you're a camel and you don't drink anything during the day or if you're what's the other animal that drinks all the time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. No worries. Last question. Um, yes, of course. Go for it, about, Naomi. About the transportation cards. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to be there a little earlier and be in a hotel. So if you get a card, do you use it to buy a ticket or do you just show it if they ask you or do you have to show it to okay. the driver? How does it work? So you said you're going to be arriving before, in Chamonix, you're arriving before? Yeah. So In Geneva, um, actually. Okay, so this isn't very different. Um, Chamonix has their own um, transport system. So we'll give you a card. This is only valid for Chamonix town for the transport card. Geneva, it's probably different. You probably have, you actually, I know it's different. You have to buy a ticket every time you get on a transfer. But for Chamonix, we'll, <clears throat> each, we'll, we'll provide you with transfer tickets and transport tickets. Which one's who? 
Well, let me just say, let me just say one more mm -hmm. word about that. You'll be receiving two tickets from mm -hmm. us. One is a bus and train pass. Um, it's a small little card, and uh, you just need to fill in the dates that you're going to be in Chamonix, and you fill in your name. Usually, the uh, bus driver does not ask you for it, but if he does ask you for it, you just show it to him, and that's the end of the story. The train will, however, the train will ask train you will. for it, and it yeah. needs it needs to be completed. It's very simple. Eric will show you, um, show but you. you will get yeah. It it it's a very it's a cardboard piece of, and it's just written the dates you're there and your name. Um, and then the other ticket, which is like gold dust, so you can't lose this. And every again, will give you is your ticket that will get you access to all the stations. So everything where we're going every day. So if we're going up Ligui du Midi, you have a card, and we've we will give you this card. Yeah. So I just want to say about that card, we're we're going to call that the multi pass. And just like Flo said, that gives you access to everything, um, all the ski lifts and all the cable cars and so on and so forth. That is a very expensive card. If you lose it, it's going to cost 120 euro to replace it. So please keep, have it with you at all times. But we'll we'll give you all this information again when you get here. This is yes. probably information. Yeah, this is all information that we'll give you again. Um, Any other questions about logistics? Um, as far as uh, hiking boots go, it's mm -hmm. mostly regular ground. Will there be some snow or not snow? Um, it will be normally be um, so like trails. So it would be rock, um, like sometimes a bit of loose rock. Normally they're always paths. You will not be diverting from a path going through like the, there will always be like a designated path. Um, it can be single track though sometimes, and um, you are not expected to walk on snow. Sometimes there's like small patches of like a couple of meters just because it hasn't melted because um, we are in the transition. We've had a bit of random weather recently with like some very good weather and some like worse weather where it snowed still up top. So, but you won't be walking across a glacier yes. for like six hours. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So there might Noise. be, and it's like when we get on the mountains, <clears throat> there might be a patch of snow that is like maybe, maybe it's twenty, you know, yards or something like that. Um, but just like what Flo said, you know, it's a small little patch uh, that's left over from the winter. Do we uh, need to have full boots or trail runners good enough? Um, it's good to have ankle support. Um, depending on the day you're doing and what your um, what level you are, um, you know it's always you're on uneven surfaces, um, so an ankle support is always quite useful. It, it. it depends what you feel confident in, because I'm not going to tell you to wear a shoe that you're not confident in, and it's going to make it even worse than what you would normally wear. I'm comfortable Sorry. in both, so it's okay. just a what's more appropriate? Ankle boots. support boots. Absolutely, absolutely. Boot. The more, yes, <laughs> yes. And also the hiking poles, you can buy collapsible hiking poles. Um, also very important because it, it gives you an extra pair of legs, you know, and some of us are like, you know, like Flo that can get on a bicycle uh, and ride from Italy to Slovenia or wherever it was. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a, it's good to have the poles. You'll see. Here. Yeah, fair. we have about 10 minutes left. So... Uh, Yes, go, go for it, Connor. How, how many people are on the tour? I've got 20. 22? 23. 20, 22. Yeah. yeah. Is there any swimming? Should I bring a bathing suit? You can, there's a jacuzzi, so do do bring one. Um, there is a jacuzzi, there is a sauna in the chalet. Um, if you want to jump in a lake, you are as well very welcome to they're quite cold but people do it a lot of people enjoy jumping in the lake it is greater water but it's always fun yeah, yeah. Well, I feel now if you really if you really want to sometimes uh, there is a sports center at the end of town uh which has a both an indoor and outdoor pool and if you want to um um you know i don't take off a morning or if you have, we have some of my free time you can definitely do that um I also want to mention uh and for is... sorry for river rafting you need uh, a suit yeah. if you're river rafting you need it we'll give you wetsuits of course 
wetsuits are provided, but for underneath the wetsuit, you will need a bathing suit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just want, I want to realize about when we go the river rafting, we give you these wetsuits. These wetsuits have been been worn by about 10 million <laughs> Frenchmen. So, oh gosh, you might, time, don't go commando in the wetsuit. Uh, no, there is. What yeah. about? What about yeah, water and, shoes? Do they give that to you when you raft? Yes, yeah, they'll give you around? water shoes. But yeah, yeah, no, they give you water shoes. Booties, yes. Now, uh, regarding the jacuzzi, I want to mention also that. Um, uh, so when we do go in the jacuzzi, there is like a communal jacuzzi. Just imagine you're in Japan, and uh, so we wear t-shirts and shorts when we go in uh, the jacuzzi. That's the jacuzzi that belongs to us, and it's clean periodically. So that's that's great. Um, sometimes the past years have been women that wanted to have, you know, only women's hours, which is fine. So like 9 p.m., uh, that's good for the women. And also, if people decide they have free time or they want to take a morning off or an afternoon, there is a spa in Chamonix to die for. Do you know what it means to die for? I'm, let me explain to you about the spa for just one minute because we have very short. I live in Israel. Even holier than Israel is Jerusalem. Even holier than Jerusalem is the temple. Even holier than the temple is this spa in Shomani. Unbelievable. <laughs> Three floors. It's just not from this world. So it's right next to the sports center. So if you guys, uh, you just know this. I don't think you have enough time because I know the schedule is so busy and it's so exciting, but you just know that it exists. All right, we have time now for like one or two questions. I'm just going to answer Dora's question. Um, there's no treadmill, but I'm not sure that you will want to go on a run after spending the day <laughs> hiking. But, Good guess. Yeah, but if um, there is the sports center, which you can go get an access pass if, if that's needed. Is there a safe in the room? Does the room yes. have a safe? Um, there's the main safe that we normally... Um, <clears throat> put we've got a main safe where you can put your passport in for the whole week which is access and then each depending on the chalet there are safes but you'll find a place where you can put and Jonathan oh the chalet original there will always be someone in it you read or Jonathan because they're cooking they're dealing with everything it's a very safe Chamonix is a very safe place um I've lived there 20 23 24 years now um and i've never encountered a fess or anything it's very very yeah it'll be okay <laughs> but you'll have a place where you can lock your passport for the week any oh, other last, questions last question yeah. yes on the on the rafting day um and if you don't want to do rafting is there you know other options that are yes um, is there any biking or any other options that are scheduled or is it kind of like you figure out yourself no we can we can help you of course yeah if you don't want to raft just drop me a whatsapp and we can try and figure something out in your preference so we do have the tour guide which is still available to go on like a different type of hiking there's um so many little like places there's so much to see in chamonix there's not the town's not the attraction of chamonix the outside the nature of the mountains is the attraction so we can find some like one of the tour guides if you wanted to see like a little area you know we can there's electric bikes which are quite fun to like take out and rent and go on a little tour so if you drop me a whatsapp and i can try and get you um some information about that so don't worry just drop yeah message me on whatsapp how <laughs> so, yeah. and if you've got any other questions just message me on whatsapp as well how many people are flying from israel on that six o'clock in the morning flight to geneva from israel let me look <laughs> You put me, let me, I don't have everybody's details off the back of my hand. So one second. I will, I can drop you a message, Ellen. I'll okay, write that down you. now. Yeah, thank you. How many thank people, you. people from Israel. Okay. How long is the cable car ride? Um, wait, who asked that question for the cable car ride? I asked about the cable car ride. Yeah. Um, so it's two cable cars, one that gets you to a mid station and one gets you to the top station. They're about five minutes, five to 10 minutes each. Um, and if you don't feel, if you feel like really lightheaded at the mid station, you can stay at the mid station and you do not need to go to the top. If you feel like it's too much, you're too, too much of an altitude change and you feel ill, you can just stay at the mid station. Yeah, there's a coffee shop at the mid station also. 
Right, and the my... bottom of the cable car is clear? No. It's clear? No, 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 no. Electric, you, you have a... no, 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 yeah, no. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, nice all, people. All the... We are Just going to uh, wrap this up. I, 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 I can tell you that what I have found uh, many, many times, probably each time, is that really what makes this trip is all, all the people, all the nice people, and getting to know the people, and people share their stories, and, uh, you know, Andy's going to tell you all about his connection to uh, Bob Dylan and uh, other things like that. And um, and we, uh, we 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 encourage you to share your stories because they're fascinating. And um, once again, you know, uh, I've known Irid for a long time. She's amazing. I've known Flo also. Uh, and this is a chance also to publicly recognize that uh, Flo is now. Um, uh, She's very, very, very successful because of her dating life has been a little bit like this. So she now she she works on ejection ejection seats. That she does the next time she's on a date, right? That's what you do. You work on these seats. So yeah, well, I, I want to give a bit more context to this. I'm a <laughs> human systems integration engineer working for a company called Martin oh. Baker. Do do ejection seats for okay. Frostet. <laughs> Just wanted to what? clear that out. That I don't want to eject people. <laughs> No, flow is amazing. Just and, makes. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We've got one yes. more Last question. question. We can, we can yes. take one more question. Okay. Yeah. The, here's the most important question. So, if you're shopping, you're walking around in Chamonix, is that area <laughs> known for anything besides uh, besides Josh's uh, coffee cup? Is it just stuff from China? Was there actually anything to look oh. worth looking at there? Yeah. Um, I mean, depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for, um, so there's an interesting fact that every baguette in Chamonix is kosher. La baguette yeah. simple, yeah. classique, la, la baguette is kosher because it's like a tradition that's made. And I learned this from, I think one of, a, I have a, a Jewish friend that she that lives in Chamonix, that has a house in Chamonix, who's like, it's really interesting that every French baguette is um is kosher not everything in the, the boulangerie but the baguette is and so i would say have fun trying every baguette in germany and every different bakery we are very <laughs> much known for our bread and our pastries um if not on the other hand of like um we do just we have like if you're looking for firstly my father's book is brilliant it talks about mountains for kids you'll see <laughs> but if not every like we have like our classic animals like the marmot the chamois la brudis, um and those kind of like cl classic little i think small gifts that if you wanted to um and yeah. then we have I remember there's some good beer and I think it is kosher. I'll have to double check with you. So let me get back to you on the types of beer that you can buy in Chamonix, but we're quite good. We've got a lot of breweries around. So hopefully some of them are kosher. I'll get in contact with the ones and ask them. That's wild. another. I do brewery. want to end by, by throwing out a challenge to everyone. Um, and that is you're going to hear a lot from Irit and also the uh, tour guides about the connection between Chamonix and the Holocaust. And there was a home there that actually saved children. Um, mm -hmm. Every time um, I have gone to Chamonix and I have worn my kippah, I've been approached um, by different people. And uh, some people feel comfortable wearing the kippah.